Hi everybody, it's the Irish Scrapper back with another tutorial for you this evening. Um, when we're starting off in this craft hobby thing, it can be very daunting because a lot of things can be quite expensive. So rather than feeling that you have to race out and buy the top quality everything, when you're starting off it's a learning curve. So I'm going to show you how using some Crayola markers that the children use in school and they're very very reasonably priced I think I paid something like a euro 50 or a euro 99 for a whole set of these and there were 12 in the set um, These Crayola markers are very versatile. I'm just going to demonstrate a couple of the, the, the things that they're good for in the crafting industry or the crafting world perhaps so you just take them. I'm using my white tile again here. I find the white tile is absolutely brilliant as a surface when you're working with anything to do with water. So I'm simply going to lay down a little bit of colour here. These Crayola um, markers are very juicy and they last for ages because I have this set quite a while. My son and his partner bought them for me a couple of years ago for, as a birthday gift. A whole box of them, not just a set of them. I think it was over... 200 in the box so as you can see I'm just scribbling them down randomly on uh, the white tile and I, I, I have no um, preference of colour I'm just picking them up as, as they come to hand so what I'm going to do is simply take some water and spray the Crayolas, the Crayola markers, and they start to mingle and merge, as you can see. Now, this this technique is specifically for putting down a background colour, and if you want to stamp on top of it or whatever you want to do on it, but it's it's smashing. Now, I'm just using some scrap card for demonstration purposes. So you simply put your scrap card or your piece of card that you want for your background ground, down onto your sprayed um, marker. And when you lift it up, you have the most beautiful um, background image. You can go back in again and pick up some more of the colour. Now, so that's a beautiful background for anybody starting off for a stamped image or a, a matting and layering um, for their card. So that's one of the things that, that the Crayola markers can do. So I'll just tidy up real quick. Another thing they're good for is if you want to stamp an image. So I'm just taking this sunflower here. I love this stamp. I use it a lot. And okay, we'll take the yellow marker. And actually, I'll just make it multicolored for the fun of it. Because again, it can be rather expensive to go away and invest in all the ink pads and everything when you're just starting out. And let's face it, we want to know that we like crafting before we start putting big money into it. Now, I mean, these wouldn't be colours that you'd, well, that I'd use for, for stamping, but I'm just demonstrating the, the um, versatility. So again, I'm using these now as an ink pad. I can see where I've missed it with the marker, but it doesn't matter. It's just to show you, you can use it. So you can see where I've missed it, but even the yellow has come out. So we can use them as inks for stamping. And to clean your stamp, you simply just spray. Actually, let me demonstrate. When you spray it, it nearly intensifies the color. So I'll just use the opposite side. Oh no, it's, it's a bit of a mess. But if you were doing a background, it would be fine. So we'll clean off the, the stamp. Okay. Another thing that we can use these colours for is, let me put down some colour again on my white tile. The 
this I'm using as a kind of a flesh tone. And I've gone ahead and I've stamped an image on, this is really a scrap piece of paper. So what I do is, you don't need a water brush, you can use any brush that's at hand. And you simply go in and pick up your piece of colour and apply it. And the skin tone in this range is actually quite good. Now the more water you mix with the colour, the paler the colour is. And the wonderful things, thing about the Crayola is that you can actually mix the colours. So you, you can have an enormous palette. So if I wanted to, we'll say, highlight her cheeks, just put a little dab of the red in with the skin tone. Go back in. Highlight. And you can see that the colour is quite vivid. Very, very, very easy to paint with. So now you can see the Crayola markers are markers. They're good for a colour wash for a background. They're good for painting. And they're good for stamping. So, you know, if you're starting out, I'd suggest start with something like this. Give it a go. See if you like it. If you like it, there's lots of beautiful products out there. But these are absolutely fine for starting out with. So, it's the Irish Grapper saying, join me again real soon for my next tutorial.